We've seen how the reduction table can be used to predict whether species will react spontaneously or not. In this video, we'll show you how the table can be used to help you find the products of redox reactions and write balanced equations for them. Let's start with an example. A strip of aluminum metal is placed in a one molar solution of copper 2 nitrate. We're asked to write a balanced net ionic equation for the reaction that occurs. Because we're asked for the net ionic equation, we must discard all spectator ions. Our solution is copper 2 nitrate. And we can write its dissociation equation here. CuNO32 breaks up into Cu2 plus and 2NO3 minus. The nitrate ion, NO3 minus, only appears on the reduction table when it's combined with H plus ions. Since there are no H plus ions in this reaction, the nitrate ion can be considered a spectator ion and can be discarded. So the active ion from this solution is the copper 2 ion. So we can consider the reactants to be Cu2 plus and Al solid. Our next step is to find the two species on the reduction table. The Al solid is here, lower on the right side and there are two Cu2 plus ions higher up on the left side. The higher Cu2 plus is farther away from the aluminum solid, so it is the preferred half reaction, and that's the one we'll use. Since we can draw a backslash between these two species, the reaction between them is spontaneous. The table is set up so that the reduction potential increases as you move up the table. In a spontaneous redox reaction, the higher half reaction on the table will be the reduction. So we write the half reaction for the reduction of Cu2 plus here. Since it's a reduction, we write it the way it is on the table. The half reaction for aluminum solid is the lower of the two half reactions we're considering. The lower half reaction must be the reverse of what is written on the table, and it will be an oxidation. So we can reverse this half reaction and write it here. So we have the two half reactions, the reduction of Cu2 plus and the oxidation of aluminum solid. In order to obtain the net ionic equation for the overall redox reaction, we will add these two half reactions together. We have two electrons on the left side of the top half reaction and three electrons on the right side of the bottom half reaction. In order to equalize the electrons, we multiply the top half reaction by three and the bottom half reaction by two, like this. This will give us three times two, or six electrons on the left side, and two times three, or six electrons on the right side. Since we have six electrons on both sides, the electrons will cancel and we can leave them out of the two half reactions. We obtain the net ionic equation for the overall redox reaction by adding up the half reactions, each multiplied by the factors we use to equalize the electrons, the top one by three and the bottom one by two. We have three times one equals three Cu2 plus ions on the left side. So we write three Cu2 plus down here. We also have two times one equals two aluminum atoms on the left side. So we can write two Al solid down here. Now we go over to the product side. On the right, we have three times one equals three Cu solid atoms from the top half reaction. So we can write three Cu solid down here on the right side. We also have two times one equals two Al3 plus ions from the right side of the bottom half reaction. So we can write these down here on the right side of the overall redox reaction. So the net ionic equation for the overall reaction that occurs is three Cu2 plus plus two Al solid gives three Cu solid plus two Al3 plus. Now the reduction table assumes that all ions are in aqueous form. So the reaction can be written with AQ subscripts on the ions. And it will look like this. 
So that's the final net ionic equation for this reaction.